teachers and students. I am uh, Tan Yin Teng from SNJ Tech from Quanjina, Pravina. Today, we will try to do the experiment in the textbook, page 100, experiment 3.1, to compare the con uh, ohmic conductor and the non ohmic conductor. But we will do some minor modification to the experiment in our textbook. So, uh, for the difference of this experiment, is the potential difference across the conductor is affected by the current flowing through the conductor. Hypothesis, we have the higher the current flowing through the conductor, the higher the potential difference across the conductor. End of this experiment, to study the relationship between the potential difference across the conductor with the current flowing through the conductor. So for our manipulated variable, is current. Our responding variable is potential difference. Following by constant variable is our temperature. So at first, let me introduce the uh, apparatus that we will use in this experiment. So over here, we have emitter, then followed by vomitor, then switch battery holder, okay, three battery, so that we get a wider range, then followed by real step. So this is the uh, 2 ohm resistor. I use it to replace the constant wire. Then here we have a non ohmic conductor, which is the part, and some connecting wire. Okay. Now we will start to build up the circuit. Okay. I will use three batteries so that I get a wider range, as I mentioned before. So I connect the battery holder to the switch. From the switch, I connect to the emitter. From emitter, I will connect to the standard resistor. Then from the standard resistor, I will connect to the real state. Real step, it will go back to the battery holder again. Vometer will be the last one because vometer will connect parallel to the uh, conductor. So the last one to connect the vometer. So this is the complete circuit we have connected with. So there are a few things that we need to uh, make sure before we can start to take the reading. First thing, make sure all the connection is tight. Okay? If the connection is not tight, our reading may be fluctuate. Okay? So it's harder for us to take the reading. Okay? The second thing that we always make a mistake is we don't know how to use the real step. Okay? We saw that in this example, this real step we have uh, three terminal here. So make sure that you connect one terminal over here, another one is at the side here. So this is the complete circuit. Okay. So if I turn on the switch, we will start to see that there is reading over here. Okay, there is reading over here. I'm moving the slider on the real stack. We will saw that the reading of the emitter is changing. The pointer on both the vometer and emitter is moving. Right? When I'm moving, when I move the slider on the real step, that means our circuit is completed. The circuit is working, then we need to take five reading, right? five different reading of current with the corresponding uh, potential difference, and then jot down on the table. Right? So I will start to take the reading. Before I forget, whenever we are not taking the reading, make sure that you, the circuit is incomplete. Right? They mean I uh, show that all the operators will not be picked up. After we have obtained the data for our experiment, then we will start to plot the graph. 
So from here, our responding variable is potential difference. So this will be plotted on our y axis and our x axis will be our manipulated variable, which is the current. Okay. Make sure you choose the even skew. So I have drawn the axis for the current and the potential difference. Then I will transfer the data from the table into the graph. So we try to draw the best fit line. So we obtain a straight line graph which pass through the origin of the graph. This is for ohmic conductor. Then we can start to take the reading for the non-ohmic conductor. So we don't have to disconnect all the wiring because the things that we change is only change the ohmic conductor into the non-ohmic conductor. So I will just take down the wire over here, replace with the light bulb. Same thing, I will switch on the switch and check if the bulb can be light up or not. And so it's working and ohmmeter is showing some reading and emitter is showing a reading. Then we can start to take another 5 set of reading for the non ohmic conductor. followed by the non-ohmic conductor graph. So after we have obtained the two graphs for ohmic conductor and non-ohmic conductor, I will start to compare the two graphs. Okay. So for ohmic conductor, we saw a straight line which passed through the origin. However, for non-ohmic conductor, which is the bug in this experiment, it show a curve. It show a curve. So this is the major difference between the ohmic conductor and non-ohmic conductor. Because for ohmic conductor, it is a straight line, which means that the resistance will remain as constant. But for non-ohmic conductor, uh, we get a curve line. So that means that our hypothesis is accepted over here. The potential difference will increase when our current increases. Okay. Thank you.